stop the gun and knife crime. It's not even a joke anymore. It's very serious and what's going on here today is a true reflection of how the community is getting together. Instead of carrying a knife to try and get respect, you get involved in your community. Take some respect in yourself. Take some respect in your surroundings. So it's really, really important that everyone finds out about this issue and supports this campaign. Because the work you're doing is fantastic. One of the key things behind gun and knife crime is actually the breakdown of families. If we don't address the family, then the symptoms of gun and knife crime and gangs will continue to persist. We want kids off the streets. Today, what I've just seen here has opened my eyes to show what one person really can do to stand up to support this. It's our lives, it's our buses, it's our trains, it's our streets, it's our schools, it's everywhere. Before you carry a knife, throw everything away, throw that PS2, Throw the medal that you want, all your certificates, throw them in the drain. We feel that the government needs to put more money into the community by having after school clubs for young children to help out single parents. Throw your family away as well because that's basically the responsibility that you're taking every time you carry that knife out to go outside. It's everyone's civic responsibility to make sure that we make this city, we make this country a great place for ourselves, a great place for our kids. It has to stop here and now. We can do it one by one. Get an education, follow your dream, work hard, make your money and live good, all right? I met Alex Rose about six weeks ago when we decided to do a fundraising event for him in Portsmouth. Um, we're part of a company called I Am Uni, which stands for I Am You and I. I am united and it was a positive campaign that we created to show inspiration and expression as a celebration. I work uh, for Lambert School Sports Partnership and I work with kids all the time. What you want is to put kids in the, in the situation where they're with people who are their peers, they have a positive experience with someone who's from a different part of South London or North London or area, any area of the UK but then it can identify with them. They can shake hands at the end of a competitive game. It's, it's, it's the powerful nature of sport. I run an anti-knife group on Facebook. We've over uh, nearly 2,000 members. Right now I'm trying to get somewhere funded to keep them off, to open a community centre to keep them out of trouble. I heard about the Stop campaign last year on Facebook and now I go around my university trying to raise awareness about the Stop campaign to get people to help and support. We started off uh, a production company called Clan Ass Productions. I think that youth can definitely be something better than they're portrayed on the streets at the moment. Because this is teenagers doing something for other teenagers. I experienced three different instances of uh, murder literally right outside my door and I wanted to do whatever I could do to kind of raise awareness about it. Change, change in the UK, UK. have a look. I like to travel into schools and uh, mentor and speak with young people in primary and secondary level about the consequences of using guns and knives. And currently I'm writing a blog on gun and knife camera South London because I'm a trainee journalist. I'd rather people be a part of the solution rather than part of the problem. We need to clone young individuals like this. Yeah, clone him because he's doing wonderful work. Big up, peace. to make a pledge uh, to get kids off the streets doing positive things like gymnastics, parkour, tricking, things they're going to enjoy. We're getting kids to focus their attentions and energies into, into sport instead of violence and messing around and, and causing trouble. I pledge to constantly work towards my community to make it a better place for our children in the future. I pledge to carry on the work that I'm doing, fashion show next month, fundraiser in May, June, selling t-shirts, talking to schools, colleges, universities. I used to be in gangs myself, so and I've been to prison and I've gone through a lot of stuff and I've changed my life. So my pledge is to help other young people that that's not the way. I pledge to spread the word of stop through my everyday interaction with people I know and people I meet. It's a message that I believe should be spread. For me it's the statistics. I mean, this is the first time I actually actually read them and I actually realised what they meant. And it just hit me to the core. I actually just, it made me so angry. And I know I don't have an idea. I don't have a plan. I don't have sort of inspiration, but I know that I have time. My pledge to young people is to um, become a role model. Um, I, I didn't pass my GCSEs. Um, I fell off the education system, and, and now I'm a local graduate trainee, and I'm doing a lot better in, in life. And the thing is, you can do that too. I, 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 we, we pledge to motivate, to inspire, to influence the young generation to get a piece of the piece. Black boys, black boys, 
Yes, we're all black boys. Don't stereotype us by what you see on your tabloids. Because if you read between the lines, you'll find most of the things they're telling are white lies. Believe me, it's not nice. I hear we only roll with knives or nines. We kill each other by night. If that's true, there'll be barely any left on the curbside. But I'm not saying it's right to try to take another individual's life. Listen, I'm not a preach, but what I say is what I write. What I write is what's on my mind. I'm moving forward, I'm not shy. To say I had enough of white, I'm being stuck behind. This is for youth in general, black or white. You need his power, let's not collide, but unite. And when you look at the sun, it's bright. You can also make that your future. But nowadays it seems like the future's a fight, struggling to strive. Nobody's dropping down their pride. But me, I've had enough for the madness. So truly, I stay ghost on the campus. I gotta keep my mind clear and stay focused. It's not awkward. We can all move forward. Black boys.